it going? We're live. We'll wait for the chatters to come on in. It's episode 21 here of Skeleton Room Live. Are we live? Is the audio live? Let me just get that confirmation. Let me get that classic confirmation that we all know and love. There it is. And okay, we are live. Get in the chat. Get in the chat. Get in the chat. Get in the chat. Get in the chat every night. Get in the chat. Get in the chat. Get in the chat every night. All right, guys. So a little bit of a reveal there. We do have a special guest with us tonight. We'll get to him in a second, but I just want to welcome everybody tonight to Skeleton Realm Live. It's Wednesday. It's 8 p.m. We are here live. It's episode 21. We're loving this week. Last week, we had kind of an odd... Oops. We had kind of an <laughs> odd episode last week. Some strange digital interference was occurring, and that was something that we're still investigating, still trying to figure out. Absolutely. Sam, how's your like week retro been? Retroactive interference? That's right. Something like that. Yeah, it, it was very strange. Uh, but my week's been great, and 21 is awesome, and it's a cool number, and I'm so stoked to be here on um, episode 21. Well, let's go ahead and introduce the guest tonight, the elephant in the room, as they say. T. Lee Gunselman Woo! is in the house. Everybody say hello, I'm T. Lee. I'm an elephant. He's our first guest on Skeleton Realm Live, and we love him here. If, you, if you're a Skeleton Realm Live <laughs> fan, or just a Skeleton Realm fan, you know Lee from a lot of different videos. We're talking about Dom Daddies. We're talking oh, about all sorts well, of different I mean, videos. You know, I, I am a, a Skeleton Realm live a skeleton realm uh fan super fan is what you call it so it's um, kind of funny it's like you're a fan and you're the man who's part of the show well, too it's, it's a matter of circumstance so i was a huge fan and i would just show up to a lot of your filmings and stuff right as like you would call a stalker essentially right and um so if you watch a few videos you actually might see me in the background and um, it was kind of funny the way that we really sparked that friendship was all those different court appearances and court dates with those restraining orders and we had to right, keep renewing those right. and eventually we were like hey we, we just like hanging out yeah. in the courthouse right outside the county courthouse yeah, it was like, this guy is like obsessed with us but he's actually kind of cool and he appreciates us and that's why he's very obsessed is because he's like he needs he want he needs friends. He needs friends he needs and so like-minded friends. I'm so happy we took the plunge, but let me just as a primer for everybody for tonight's episode, we're going to get into some of the guests that we've got tonight besides T Lee. Of course, T Lee will be with us the entire episode, but our first guest besides Lee is going to be Ron Howard, the director Ron Howard's on the program tonight. You know him from Arrested Development, you know him from Happy Days. Happy Days Opie, are here Opie's at last. Here. Opie's yeah. here finally. Who's after that? Sam? Opie, that's Opie. the uh, that's Ron's character from uh from uh yeah ron is opie from uh uh doo -doo -doo, uh what's the guy f uh wait what do 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 happy days do, hap not happy no. days no no um uh he's andy griffin's son he's wow opie. that's ron howard that's i did his, not well wait, wow well that. we'll talk to ron about that when he yeah, comes yeah, on yeah, we'll have so a he class. was not yeah because he always say ron's was a child actor but we'll, we'll talk to him yeah. uh but after that is lee <laughs> hazelwood here to talk about Lumber prices. So we got Lee Hazelwood. Everyone knows Lee Hazelwood. We don't need to explain who that is, but he will be coming on to talk about lumber prices. And he's become quite the lumber expert being a Hazelwood. After that, we've got Lee Ronaldo, and he's here to talk about youth league soccer and baseball. So he's going to be talking about some of the teams to watch this year in the DeKalb and Fulton County Rec Department, YMCA. Thank you, Lee Ronaldo. He's going to be a ref this year, too, and that's going to be really exciting. So we can't wait to see the third Lee coming on the program. Who's after that? After that, we have a very creative individual and an entrepreneur. He's a low rider golf cart specialist and host of Cart Hipsters, Kim Soo Young. Kim Su Young is going to be on low riding on a golf cart. Who'd have known? We've seen low riding trucks. We've seen all the LEDs and the hydraulics they put on those epic pimped up Cadillacs, but they're pimping carts now. <laughs> those carts are already pretty low. How low can they get, Doug? I'm not sure. And after that, we're going to have Torb the Sun Dried Drill Sergeant. Torb is a drill sergeant. He's local at the Army base, and his skin is burnt all the time. So he's sun dried, like a sun dried tomato. Mm. Lee, what do you think about that? Um, uh, it's a great pizza topping for sure. We love um, it. We like actually, it with a little can, olive oil. Uh, you, you seem to that you have a, a several Lee guests tonight. Yeah. Well, we thought keeping in line with sort of the Lee theme. Well, uh, legally, my first name is Thomas. Oh. So I, I just to avoid confusion, you can call me Tommy tonight. Okay, we could call you Tommy. If you, if you, like... if you mess up, that's fine. But I, I think there's going to be a lot of. Uh, Difficulties Got it. like I when, you, when you like refer to Lee Ronaldo or Lee Hazelwood or right. uh, Arthur Lee Clark or um, uh, you know um, General Lee. Who right, exactly. We will not allow to be here. Yeah, 
Well, um, he's been deceased for yeah, 100, uh, 100 plus years. He's the guy that uh, shot um, uh, Lincoln. Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Har- Harvey yeah. Oswald, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Yeah. So we'll call ouch. you Tommy. Yeah, that hurt. We'll call you Tommy. <laughs> yeah, that might have hurt. That's an ouch. Might have hurt a little bit. Uh, might have hurt a little. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh, I got it. Got a little bling, bling, bling. Where's prick. the sound drops? On yeah, the uh, <laughs> hit the key. I'm red as a hot red tomato. All okay, right. after that. Oh, go on. Who's next? <laughs> oh, after that, uh, you did uh, you did Torb. That, that, that would be Dr. Poison. <laughs> not good. You do not want to visit from this fella because that means you've been poisoned because this guy's the cure-all. It's funny, Dr. Poison. poison, one of the biggest doctors specializing in poison in the state, but also doling out poison. He's a poison uh, giver, and he's a poison curer. After that, as a well, I'll just <laughs> add that as a lot of people say that uh, you know, medicine only drugs only become uh, bad once you take too many of them. And I think the same goes for poison. That'd be a question for Dr. Poison. I'm sure he'd have a succinct answer I for you. I mean, it wasn't a question. Just I mean, I got a few poisons go on. right well, here. Well, who's next? Uh oh. After that, we got the Me and My Big Time Buddies Band. Oh, And yeah. Lee was They're actually great. sitting in on keys for them for a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, at Northside Tavern. You remember That's that? That's right. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. It was the house band there. Yeah, yeah. So what, where, what are the Me and My Big Time Buddies Band, what have they been up to these past couple years? What do you think? Well, I mean, after the pandemic, they um they had to kind of downsize a little bit because they couldn't have... They used to be like a seven-piece band. Right. Um, But... But so they 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 mix it down to three. I used to be the keyboard player, but they realized that they needed like one comping rhythm instrument. So they just start, chose guitar. Cause, yeah, I mean oh, that you're, makes you're in that smoky blues bar. Right. You want to hear that rock and roll guitar, bass, drums. That's all you need. Maybe you, know, like, you don't need a keyboard. You don't need horns. We could you know, actually backup singers. We could actually talk to them and say, what if we got you on the keytar? Oh, yeah. Maybe to I mean, solve, maybe yeah, to but it doesn't combine. have that same sustain, that yeah, raunchiness. You're right. You know, I, my favorite thing about Northside Tavern is that it kind of. Uh, is sort of the bar that my child, the childhood version of myself, like seven-year-old Lee, yeah. would think what a bar was in the future when I'm an adult. Oh, so interesting. It's just, it's just a blues band playing the entire time. Oh. For those of you who are uh, watching right now, not from Atlanta, there's this place called Northside Tavern, which is a institution in uh, like West Midtown, Atlanta. But it's literally every night they have like a, a dad rock blues band playing and it's covered in smoke, pool tables, shitty liquor. It smells like piss. It is It is Curse essentially word what... Detected. Curse word yeah. detected. I miss her. I love her. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's going to be going off frequently. <laughs> if you have I a foul a mouth, they're going to be here. Mouth. That's right. Shit. Well, I think that's interesting that your interpretation of the future is a dirty old blues bar. I would. I thought you were going to no, say... No, my, 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 as a child, when I'm an adult oh, I and see. when I go to bars... I thought you were saying as a kid, like... Because I was, I thought you were going to uh, say Northside Tavern because of all the chrome. Oh right, it's like yeah, futuristic. Like, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Because so, they have those yeah. chrome stools. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That'd be more like a like a, a Marietta Diner or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, it's like 50, <laughs> like fifties futurism. We like that. Yeah, yeah retro futurism. Yeah. It's like a Fallout kind of situation well yeah. in in line with <laughs> bars and bar culture and everything bar after the me and my big time buddies band we've got Chaser McMothman, and he's a local bartender. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay and and after I, that why don't you read off after that sorry great Sam. so uh yeah and finally that would be t lee gunselman oh play us an intro for yourself uh yeah we love having lee on the show he's on the show tonight To be here with you, Doug and Sam. I'm in the tr- truest tower. It's great to be here in the truest tower. I know, isn't it? Yeah, okay, yeah. so I was gonna I ask been you. Haven't invited yet. So. I noticed that you. I know, and it's it's been a long time coming. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't even let anybody in here just during our writing sessions. I know you've been begging on your hands and knees, yeah, but I, I noticed when you came in, you were dripping wet with sweat, and that's because you chose you chose to take the stairs, and we're on the 38th floor. So well, what, why did you shape. do that? I'm trying to get in shape. I love it. It's I've been sedentary for a long time. Right. Even though I work at a bar and I'm on my feet for 12 hours, it's like it's not real exercise. Right. I gotta get the heart going. I need my uh, my cardio. And I can't stair- afford a gym. Uh, Pres- well, I'll tell uh, you what. Prescription. I'll give Should you a, be a prescription pres- because it's, well, it's for, health related. For us, you know? I mean, we're so freaking yeah. unhealthy. I'll and tell I'll you what. I'll old. give you an access key card. You pay me fifty bucks a month. You can go up the up and down the stairs as much as you want. Um, how about uh, you should just given that to me for free? Okay, because we'll I'm talk your guest. about it. I've got other gifts for you. Oh, sweet. Uh, are you gonna try out for the Durham Bulls? I was gonna say that. Yeah, I'm a slugger. You didn't know that about me. Are you really? Yeah. Did yeah, you slug I got the, in the I got day? A, I got a good arm like that. You hold the bat like that. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm from Durham. That's right. We got to represent so actually, Durham. I was born the same year that the Bull Durham movie came out. Really? Let's yeah. get some background on that. Let's just go. Let's get deep into this. I mean, the, the that, I, lore. I don't know if I watched it front to back. So, I mean, no, you I'm know. talking about your life. My baby. life? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're I'm saying question. we're saying you were born in Durham, North Carolina. That's mm -hmm. where you're born. Yeah. You, born were right. you born in an elite research hospital? Uh, no, so I wasn't actually born in Duke. <laughs> so if you're, if you're talking, well, if you're talking the elite, yeah. Duke, Duke, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I was actually born in Durham Regional, He's project which is okay. cheaper. So you're not a, you're not an experiment. No, you're yeah, born no, in a yeah, regular yeah. folks' hospital. Are you like Wolverine? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I well, they they uh, instead of adamantium, they they just grounded up chopsticks, like the disposable chopsticks, <laughs> yeah. and put it in my bones. So right. I'm very fragile. I like that. So you love yeah. uh, eating Chinese food as well. Yeah, 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 and I do. Uh, we all do. We yeah, love who it. Who doesn't? So, oh, you know what? It's, I put in here that we were going to share the, the backstage stuff, but we shouldn't do that. We should wait. I don't know why I put that there, so ignore that. I glazed, right? Not that it I'm even matters. Of, no one's jarring the notes the a little bit. You're not used to this, having a guest here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a thrown-off thing, so we haven't ever had a guest. We, Sam and I actually said, after 20 episodes, we're going to bring on guests. We're going to have a fun guest talk show. This is a talk show! It does require guests. Sam, what, 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 what went into the process behind wanting to have a guest? Episode 21, we said, let's get through 20 hours. That's, that's about 24 hours. We wanted to do kind of like Fox, where, uh, what's the show? Uh, 24 hours. 20, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so if we can fill 24 21. hours, then we know we got a hit. And we did fill 24 <clears throat> hours. We have a hit, and now let's get guests. And so, really, on. the plan was to have guests and then just talk and never and just talk. Well, actually, I think I think that it was the reverse thing. I think that you've just done 20 episodes and realized that you're just plateauing the entire time. So you needed That's somebody with it. clout to come in here. I, the, well, you needed somebody with heavy uh, clout to come in here. We talked and about those likes. We talked boost about those follows. I think well, that's true. You. you know, we talked about that's elephants exactly in the right. room, and there's one that just pop, peeked its Whoa. ugly head out, huh? <laughs> I'm an elephant in the room. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's, one of my that's one of my favorite famous bits is uh, the elephant in the room. You do that that's live. A, that's a classic. I do it bit. live all the time. <laughs> you do that at that's live your, at the that's your, show. That's your between track banter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shall we get into some of these? <laughs> shall we get into some of these segments? We I don't know what I'm doing here. Segments. Segments. Let's get into the segment. So in line, this first one's just—it's uh, a hit. Go ahead. In line, in line with the visitor versus viewer dynamic, we have a visitor now who is not a viewer, and so we wanted to talk to you guys about what Lee is on this. Oh, excuse me, what T Lee is on the show tonight? He's not a—he's not a viewer. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I don't watch. It, well, you do. I know what the, the chat is thinking. I've seen T Lee in the chat. I've seen him chatting. Nice. How, what's he doing in front of the camera? Well. He's made the leap and he's switched into a visitor. And now a visitor and a viewer are very similar entities, but they're different. And there's but there is a crossover there. And I thought it was interesting. You know, Jean-Paul Sartre, the existentialist philosopher, talks a lot about the nature of existence as being a process of recognizing that you are being viewed, that you are being viewed, and that's a necessary part of your uh, human existence. And so. Uh, the look, he talked about the look, which was a central concept in Sartre's phenomenology. It meant essentially what occurs when a consciousness is forced, if forced to recognize that it exists, not only as the center of its own being gazing outward, but also as a mere object in the world of others. So let us imagine, so this is an excerpt I just wanted to read from Being and Nothingness that might help you guys understand what T. Lee is doing, the, what he is partaking in and making that leap to be in front of the viewer's eye instead of just being a viewer, but in doing so is sort of metaphorically embodying this concept that I think uh, Sartre uh, lays out so clearly in Being a Nothingness, page 317, which is, let us imagine that moved by jealousy, curiosity, or vice, I have just glued my ear to the door and looked through a keyhole. I am alone and on the level of a non non-fetic self-consciousness. This means, first of all, that there is no self to inhabit my consciousness, nothing, therefore, to which I can refer my acts in order to qualify them. They are in no way known. I am my acts, and hence they carry in themselves their whole justification. I am a pure consciousness of things and things, caught in the circuit of my, self my selfness. Now, offer to me their per potentialities as the proof of my non-thetic consciousness of my own possibilities. And this means that behind that door, a spectacle is presented as to be seen, a conversation as to be heard. So just to kind of clear up what the difference is between a, a, a viewer and a visitor, and anything to add there, Sam or Lee? Yeah, uh, it probably feels like you're talking to uh, John Sartre's The Wall. 
Yes. Just now. Uh, I thought Roger because, Waters uh, The Wall. That was way over my head, and I hope that... Uh, the concept it, album, The Wall, by Sartre. Well, Sartre, that was one of his yeah. novels. Roger and, uh, yeah, Lee, take it away with... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you, Lee, what are your I mean, thoughts I on this? I haven't been listening for the past, yeah. like, five minutes okay. uh, because I've just been playing. Well, let but, me just ask you this. What I see a Venn diagram, though. Let me just ask you this. What yeah. is it like to be a viewer... And what is it like to be? A, you're not a viewer. What is I it mean, like to be a visitor? With all honesty, it feels like the same, except that um, I can interrupt the chat. So usually when I'm viewing, <laughs> I'm on the chat. Ah, that's nice. And actually, so I'm, I'm, all the things I'm saying right now are things that I would say in the chat, the live chat. Y'all, uh, I got the chat right here actually. So I should. So look what? It, my point. mom says T. Lee is a metaphysical wonder. Oh, Gail. <laughs> Jeez, I that's love probably, Gail. That's a great compliment. Yeah. What do you think about that, T. Lee? Um, I am actually physical. I'm very. Uh, I'm not metaphysical. I'm here. Wow. I'm. I'm as physical as you are. You know. Yeah. Um, but um, I would take that I as mean, a compliment. I, I just take it as a compliment. Yeah. It, Montgomery. Look, tends... I'm modest. I'm. I'm going to try to rationalize. And, he's sexy and, and he's modest. Yeah. <laughs> Montgomery... I'm sexually, sexy in a non-sexual way. I like this. Montgomery Tim says Lee was born 31 minutes from my current house. Wow, I'm honored. Wait, who's who's Montgomery? Montgomery Tims. He's a he's a Skelly fan and a chatter. Uh, is that really? Uh, he did it. So is he from hey, North Carolina? He's actually. I went to high school with him. Actually. Oh, so you know him. He's an old chum. Uh oh. oh he's living up chum. there in Durham. Oh, we got Aaron in the chat. We've got Aaron. Oh, uh, Aaron now, and Julie, all the oh, classics. Well, let's. This would be a great opportunity yeah. to mention that. Uh, uh, we will do callers at the end of the show. Yeah, we're gonna do callers. So get in the yeah, Discord. Lots of it. Lots of it. Yes. Um, however, um, th there was something that just occurred to me and I forgot. So I just wanted to mention that I forgot it. And But before we move on... Get in the Discord if you're not in the Discord because we will take call-ins at the end of the show and you'll be able to talk to Lee. Ooh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah. Sweet. He Woo! is skilled on the piano. I know. I love it. I could... If Can I give you an... Ad, uh, uh, keep playing, please. Um, I want to admit something to you, Doug. Yes. I just wanted to hear Lee play the piano. Let's just tonight. listen to him for a second. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to scream. I didn't. <laughs> I just wanted to hear him. Um, God, go. it's good. He knows how to press press a one in the chat if you think Lee should be the permanent musical accompaniment for Skeleton Roblox. Right? It's the same song. We do it, Sakata. Not even he's not even tickling that pedal. He's all his hands light, off. A he's, light tickle. He's he's tickling. He's tickling. We like it when he tickles. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, this is a great moment, I think, to reward T. Lee for giving us such incredible oh, okay. music yeah. here. Was this Christmas? It's is almost like Christmas. It's called Got a few months it's for called Christmas. It is a few months for regulars. We call this Christmas on the show. Regulars. <laughs> <laughs> Regular Christmas. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, sorry. We call this Christmas. It's Skeleton Rome Christmas. Pardon. Why don't you put that graphic up? Oh. Mr. Okay. Sam. We've got gifts for our guest. And so when a guest comes on Skeleton Realm, we're not like other shows. We don't leave them hanging. We don't, we don't not give them swag. We don't not give them treats and toys. We give them gifts. And so Lee, T. Lee, we've got some special gifts for you. Sam, why don't you take it away and show us the gift that you got for T. Lee? All right, Lee. Yeah. Uh, it's just so special to have you here. I got a, Lee, I, I, I've got a gift for you, Lee, and I'm going to pull it up right here on the browser. It's, oh, wow. It's browser-based gift. I hope you don't so mind that. On the screen. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I like a digital, digital gift. Good. Yeah, it's a digital gift. Uh, let me Way better up. than a than a virtual gift. Right, it it's, has more longevity. That's so right. it's, yeah, uh, it'll outlive you. It's yeah, right it's here. Um, Give that to your children. That's uh. This is a um. This is, is that a Half-Life skin? skin? No, this is Sims, <laughs> Sims. One. Sims is, One. Oh, for yeah, the yeah. Sims One. Oh yeah. Uh, tiny, tiny, tiny host. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Tiny host. Yeah. Let me ask you something. What do you think about your digital gift here? This is a this is a Sims skin that is based off of you. It's you. I'm, I'm glad to Ooh, it's a see song. my liking in the new Sims skin. I love it. 
But you can click to give me simoleons Something in that Wilson skin That makes him feel alright I hope you love our sim skin tonight <laughs> so, wow. Green Day? Green Day? Yeah Green Day in the style of Sims 1 buying. That is yeah, so yeah. cool. Well, it's the, it's it's the, the building, building music. That's, that's all the uh, the, the shopping music's like. like. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, You're that's right. Thing. You're consuming Curse things. word detected. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that was the oh. building So wait, thing. let me get. Oh. I, ball sack. Does it, does it register curse ball sack? detected. Yeah, you ball can sack? test out any type of word you want. Ball sack. Curse word detected. Is ball sack a curse word? Curse word detected. I guess so. But this is Ball a real sack. website curse you can go detected. to and download this. Scan. <laughs> Ball sack is an official detected. curse word. Wow. I love that. Yeah, con That's confirmation. Cool. Confirmation. Wow. Ball sack is a curse, curse word. Curse word detected. <laughs> He's going to be playing with it all night, huh? Yeah, he loves well, his ball sack. Not in curse front of word detected. Um, all right. Well, what, I got a question for you. Yeah. Doug. I appreciate actually uh, no thank you so much for making me a sim. Wait, I, love I wanted that. to ask something about that though. Yeah. No, sure. And I we love your appreciation, but let me just ask because before you get so appreciative, let's 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 see. Can he use this in the game? No, actually he, yeah, you can. <laughs> so I was an avid sims yes, player. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah right, I was an so, avid sims so player. You can and actually this is use actually this. this is the format. This th that's why I got confused because <laughs> okay. I used to play a lot of sims and used to mod for Half-Life 1 and I was confused. Really? That is the format that you would use to attach to the skin and um, right, yeah. you know, like uh, there would be a lot of users um, just like a fan fan art people do like Goku they would just put yeah. Goku's face on it and you could put Goku in the house yeah right know? Yeah. Well, how? I mean, how does it feel to see yourself? Uh, fucking amazing. Look at, I love the, it. Look at is, the. I didn't notice I like the I'm, torso. I feel like he I'm. He made you quite svelte and ripped. Oh yeah, I'm pretty ripped. Well, yeah, I mean, beautiful. they only have they only have three body types, and well, none Sam, of well, them are mine. Well, Sam, what did what did you what went into this? Didn't you do full body scans? I thought you did body scans. I this is actually a combination of a lot of other skins. Hmm. Uh, the Bam Margera skin was my hmm. basis. Someone made that uh, probably 20 years ago, and I downloaded I that. And then the head, I used a different base, but this is all Lee. I mean, look at this sucker. It's wonderful. Look at that. Yeah, and, I mean, I do look that good. You know? But you do need, uh, you as it says there. You look better than that. Come on, T. Oh, no. Come yeah, on, T. I'm, I'm modest. To download, just click the picture. We yeah. like that. That's simple. But, Tiny uh, dot host. You need to have a bathroom vacation expansion, and that's <laughs> the only. I got an overactive bladder, you know. Bathroom vacation yeah, expansion. IBS, I'd be fucking yeah. stupid. It's not First gonna work. Detected. It's not gonna work without. It's not gonna work without that. So. <laughs> we love it. I got IBS. I'd be fucking stupid. Curse <laughs> word detected. <laughs> um. Well, hey, there, I, you know? hey, you didn't just get a gift from. Uh, you didn't just get a gift from Sam. I actually came prepared with a Aww. phenomenal gift, and it's not digital, it's in the reality, but it is artistic. And so my gift is a Gester's, what we call a Gester's, uh, a Gester, a a Gester's it's gift. called a Gester's Jester Dresser. And so it's a hand drawing of one of my favorite objects mm. in the Marvel Universe, and that's a Gester's Jester Dresser. And so it's mm. a drawing, I drew it, and what that is is a dresser as a guest show on a talk show doing hand gestures. Well, I think he has a name, right? His name is Chester Drawers. Oh, that is Chester Drawers. That's Chester I Drawers. never right made that, that yeah, connection. No, it, we were talking about the Marvel and universe. You're right. But actually, in, in, uh, um, in Amazing Stories number 23, that he's is Chester Drawers. He's, he's there with Howard the Duck. Oh, so like he is, yeah. You know what's funny? You know more it's great about you this him than into me. The uh, like, you know. So I knew you were into this kind of stuff, and I didn't yeah. know a whole lot about the character, but I just kind of did some googling. <laughs> <with stuff. laughs> and so this again, just to clarify, this is a Gester's Jester dresser. Okay, Gester's and that's, dresser. And so dresser. I don't know if you can say who's on the right, but that's me and Sam. Uh, together and fused together <laughs> we're talking about nerd stuff you're like it's like dragon ball z or you did yeah. the fusion dance it's and like became our skin. one guest yeah it's sort of Uniform, so uh, i'm gonna can short, you reach bald, can we reach bald bald men can we reach yeah, Is yeah, that yeah, a, yeah let's uh just don't oh, we never, we we didn't, no, i'll just do this i'll do this we didn't practice this we should have practiced the handing here we go ready yeah, yeah i'm ready uh, <laughs> all right well, well wait keep that hand it'll be safe until the end of the show don't there, touch so don't worry anything about it. well i mean that'll be good I, yeah. I appreciate the gift. It's really nice. Just leave no it on problem. the fucking yeah. ground. Well, I, I, feel bad. I feel bad I didn't bring y'all anything. Uh, well, well oh, oh, excuse me? I said I feel bad that I didn't bring y'all anything. Uh, well, that uh, kind of brings us to our next that segment. That was the next... So, you didn't bring us... You didn't get the... Uh, your agent didn't give you the requirements. Uh, I mean, I might have received an email, but it was kind of last minute. Could you... Hmm. Um, I, 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 could, I could improvise. Could you, like, promise us something? 
You're gonna improvise right, again. Sure. sure. Oh, sure. you can we, cash at me. Improvise again. You can so, cash at me. Just so, cash at me. Hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, show yeah. the check. Show and, and, the camera. Spin it on your. Do it now and right, show the okay. camera. Well, how about this? No, don't. I got, do you, it. I got you a Monster <laughs> Energy drink. Oh. It's your favorite. Well, hey, you know what? It's your favorite beverage. I also got Sam's favorite beverage right here. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of an Alki style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, listen. I'm so I'm so nice of a host. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna re-gift that back to you. Thank you. So Thank what do you say, well, Sam? What do you say we call it even? It's full of um, straight tequila. Mm. We can't be hitting the saws. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that here. Um, <laughs> not at all. What's the chat saying? We need an in-studio paper plane um, maker, says stream viewer. Uh, um, what do I got? Uh, Ugug says, I'll, please link to Sam's skins. I do, uh, actually. So your last guest, I will. I will. your last... Uh, the uh you know the people that were like infiltrating the chat last time your last stream i okay that was weird. Did, so so they yeah. sent they sent me something for y'all it's a uh it's a sports almanac from 2042. whoa wait what yeah. mm -hmm. so it's like someone's interpretation of what of what it would be like i mean uh it might be the real okay, thing here's a question for you on the viewer end of last episode, what was going on? We had a bunch of digital interference, and me and Sam, we refuse. We don't watch the replays. We won't watch the replays. Well, we have someone else. It. I was yeah. watching it, and uh, y'all were just making a bunch of like poo poo pee pee jokes. That's what like, I low, thought. I mean, that's yeah. low brow humor as usual. Well, I do my gasturbation. You know, so, yeah, yeah, da gasturbation. <laughs> um, but there was these uh, these entities that popped in that were doing commentary. Entities. Entities. Huh. They kind of looked like y'all, but they had silver skin. And, okay, you're and, smoking like, something here. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, yeah, but, you know, that's off the record here. Okay. But, no, I think it was real. And, uh, yeah, I think it was the future versions of yourselves. I'm calling bull crap on it. I'm Sorry. calling Well, apparently, detected. from what I learned from that is that Sam is higher status than you in the future. Excuse me? Uh, uh, tell me more. Uh, not in a million years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't expect anything else. <laughs> Curse word detected. Fuck! Curse word Ball detected. Sack. Curse word detected. <laughs> Ball sack. Curse we gotta be careful we bring on here because they're gonna abuse that power. Yeah, I know. We get, That's we okay. I'm just here to play piano. We, you know? we love abuse. We, we love abusing get power. We only per episode. Too, so. That's true. Oh, that's right. So what's going on? What is going on? So what's gifts next? from guests, a total bust in the nut. So let's move on to something that's more prescient here. Ooh, let's hear a little bit of music. Let's yeah, let's talk, music. talk music. over it. <laughs> I don't know. No, go I'm, on, go on. Sorry, I just I had a brain fart. Oh, no, you, I had a no, brain fart. You, no, Curse you first. Detected. You first. <laughs> so we have a little bit of something we wanted to bring up that's kind of been on everybody's minds. Now, I, a couple episodes of show, a couple episodes ago on the show, I talked about the Cory Tower, which is a tower in Atlanta here that they're going to be building inside the Edgewood Retail District, or at least they're going to try. And we're extremely gung-ho about it we're excited me more tv's got the contracts for the ads on cory tower 2 against it <clears throat> nah. against it nay nah. you're nah. not liking it no okay so that was actually a little bit of a left field here yeah i Can mean I get it's, a little... surprising. it's surprising because i actually work for cory as a graphic designer okay this is this is big so so yeah. explain what you do what you do for cory yeah, give me a layman's i don't even give so, me a so layman's after, explanation. after diane died or maybe we should say got murdered um, that's another Curse story for another detected. day. It's all viewable <laughs> online. Um, so, uh, basically, Corey pumps out uh, ideas to me. Detected. Pumps is pumps. Curse a word detected. Sorry, I, here I'll turn the. <laughs> I'll turn the tolerance. <laughs> I gotta turn the tolerance down. Sorry, okay, I turned yeah, it down. Yeah, go yeah. on, go tolerance. on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to derail yeah. you there. No, you're okay. Uh, no, so uh, so basically, uh, Corey has been uh, like wanting to just use his ideas and spread his his feelings and information on the the billboard that's on Cory Tower. Yeah. And um, he's like 90 some years old. Oh, he's that and old. He's wow. pretty old. So he doesn't really know how to use Photoshop. <laughs> so he's he's had to hire people to make graphic images. So basically it's me and then his great grandson who is seven years old um, have yeah. been making oh. that. Oh. Yeah. So, so you're controlling the Cory Tower Instagram. Uh, no, 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 no. He is. No, you're doing the graphics. I'm doing, no. For well, the I'm, sign. I'm, I'm, I, I've made things for Corey via his request. For the sign in for, real life. For, for the sign in real life. I get it. Okay. And but you're they're not being projected on, on, you know, on there. Like, I, I don't, I don't care. I have no, I have no right. investment to any of this. He just, he needed a, like, low tier, cheap graphic designer. And he asked right. me to do it. Yeah. And I'll, I'll do it. You know, I, I need a, I'm, 
I, I need some money. Well, and so, so the question is, why are you against having the tower built in the traditional district well, if this I, is a guy so, that you work for? Right. Well, so no, I'm not against Corey by any okay. means. I love the tower. I think it's great. I think it's a very good staple in the city and very important. But I feel like if he built another one, it would sort of diminish the value of the original one. <sighs> You know, you're and, one of these. Yeah, I'm one yeah, of those. You okay. know, and, and and it's like I'm a purist. I'm a purist. Right. <sighs> yeah. Well, look, listen. I don't know if you watched the last time I talked about this, but there are eight figure contracts on the line here for us. I'll cut you in, dude. If you want to come work, do graphic for us. We'll set you up with a nice salary. We'll get you something nice. We'll get you a nice Bugatti. <laughs> see, I, I see the numbers are high. I see a lot of zeros in that. But like uh, my my morals kind of transcend that. Financial. So you're kind of a moral guy. You're going to stand here but actually, on the ethical standards. The reason standards. is that uh, try to match the amount of money that Corey is paying me to uh, put a smiley face. So on he's a, got on you. A, he's paying you big. He's paying me big. Corey's Different, got big dollars. I just grab Mickey Mouse hands and an emoji and and then and then put the American flag on it and it's and done. You're, boom, you're, boom, done. Uh, a million bucks right there. I'm rich. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm we rich. can't match that. Yeah, yeah. Huh. A million bucks, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got too much to spend. Well, how about this? Let me he, ask. He you actually, so he's very, uh, he's very senile. Mm -hmm. And um, I met him at the uh, the bar at the W um, a few years ago when I was actually working there. Yeah. As a busboy, and he would uh, he would you know go over there for for a couple of Negronis or whatever. And I, I I met him and he was like, "You seem like a, a creative." And wait a I, minute, I like, wait yeah, a minute. Like, I make music, I, I do all these other things. And he's like, well, well, um, you know, I just sold all my advertising assets for Corey, the ta like for our company, um, after Diane had to leave. And so I just have this tower and I have a lot of things I want to express through it. So could you, um, I'll give you the dimensions of the tower. Can you <laughs> actually like make this a thing? And I, I did it. I, I said yes. And so, I never, I've never used Photoshop in my entire life before this. I learned, I looked at YouTube tutorials. I learned how to use Photoshop. You can tell on the tower that it gets better and better. As no, it looks great. I mean, I love it. So, but basically, what you're telling me is you went from a W busser to a million dollar designer. Yeah, yeah. It's a classic <laughs> rags to riches That's sort of situation. You know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, T. Lee. All right. If the tower does get built, I know you're going to be a little salty, a little sour, but it's looking every day like more likely due to these nude photos of the bare naked cock and balls. Bare naked ladies? Bare naked ladies. <laughs> uh, but hey, if it, if it does get uh, <laughs> built, what do you say you sit down with me and Sam and give us a tutorial on how to design for the tower? Would you be willing to do that at yeah, least? Yeah, actually, I would, I would do that right now. As I a, would love to know thing. the aspect ratio yeah what's the stuff? dimensions yeah, uh, actually it's it, i've so i have it saved so the um uh let me pull up the, the my uh my notes over here so i think the actual this is an exclusive skeleton yeah, live. we're yeah. gonna get the aspect ratio of the cory tower graphics guys okay. this is big yeah i mean this is this is huge this is big. it's a huge tower. this is the coca-cola secret formula yeah, of cory yeah. tower it's absolutely big. it's the secret sauce on the tower <laughs> so um so, uh, so the actual like real life aspect ratio is by feet twenty five by eighty. So, oh, um, wow! What I guess 25? I divided that by five, so it's five by eight, eight. Yeah. Uh, sorry, five by eighteen. Five by five. eighteen. Okay, so it's like it's funny because it's like uh, you know iPhone is nine by sixteen. So this is just a skinny. Like, why didn't he just? He should have gone iPhone. Then he could put TikToks up there and not have to squeeze. Well, I mean, he's a little behind the times. He yeah. just now recently got. We need um, to make he, a TikTok. He just tower. updated the operating system for it. It's been running MS DOS for for a few <laughs> yeah. years, but now we got Windows ninety five, so you can play Doom on it now. Ooh! So if you're sitting in traffic, you can actually play Doom now. now that's that'd cool. be a cool. Yeah. That'd be a cool thing to do, and then maybe yeah. have like a blimp that goes around it in a big circle, right. And all the controllers, and you could pay. You know, hundred grand to go well, yeah, there and I mean, play Doom. A, there could only be one pl player, so you have to pay the highest bid to right. play the game. And we have a blimp that oh, looks yeah. like a cacodemon. Oh yeah, I like that. The ca it looks like a cacodemon. You know the cacodemon? Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh yes, he's a classic, yes. He's a classic. Pull baddie that image from the, up. Pull that up. It's on the Corey Tower He's Instagram. a classic baddie from the Doom franchise. We love know. that. He's a big orb. He's a big uh, orb. He's hey. a big red orb uh, with a smiley face. Caca what? Maybe some Ca of the orbs. I think it's C A C O demon. One word. Caca demon. Caca demon. Yeah. He's a good boy. No, but we look. Get the fucking new Doom curse, curse word, word detected. detected. Oh, I recognize that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get you. You're gonna come to find that that one's gonna get you God, every I got a time. Sour mouth. That's okay. Um. Oh yeah, the the classic. 
Yeah, the, the big ball. He's a he's a big ball. Um, I think it's a, th- a song from. <clears throat> Is this a Doom song? Switch to him. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> Any Doom fans in the chat? Old school video game swagger. My life is like a video game. My life is like a video game. Working hard to get the coin. Working hard to get the girl. All the while still collecting coin. My life is like a video game. Neil Blakner says, uh oh, 90. Yo, dude lacks capacity to make y'all legal remember, decisions. Hey, don't get caught up in that, ni- T. Lee. Y'all remember the 90s, dude? I don't remember them. I was only. Actually, I kind of do. Yeah, you remember. You're a little, a little bit. bit older than me. Yeah. But not by a whole I had lot. older brothers that yeah, were born had... in the 80s. I was born in the 80s, but I wasn't making memories. Right. And you have older siblings that sort of brought you into that world right. as a young kid. See, I was. When, I, when the 90s were over, I was eight, so. My memories start at 26, so I've yeah. been in the game for about four years. Well, you're a late bloomer. It. I'm so. late. Yeah. I'm late, baby. Yeah. Um, all right. What, what does the chat have to say? Large Skelly fan says, oh, dude rocks. Elizabeth <laughs> Salmi says, what was Doug's song about finding Who's buggies Elizabeth and some Salmi? furniture on the side of the road? That was Sam. That was a Sam hey, song. Elizabeth Salmi, what's her at? Uh-oh. What's her at? Uh oh, he's ho- is cool. he hollering? The first she might be uh, hollering at me uh-oh. currently. The first female name. Uh, he's hollering at you by asking is, what he's kind of song was. He's going after the first female name mentioned. He's a day. little bit. He's a little bit having fun. He's having yeah, fun. It's, Dealing he's with drinking. stardom for the first first time, you know, there's it's a, tough. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little we have a lot difficult. of viewers, so it's. Yeah. I mean, there's ten thousand people watching right now. Yeah. So when were you last live? That's a question. What? Huh? Um, do y'all got any other uh, bullet points here? Yeah, we do. Um, yeah, uh, we need oh. to move along. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> it's good to get that. It's good to get the, the, the pat on the back from the guest to say move yeah. along. From the yeah, guest. I know exactly. That's that's you know, when so you know you're doing saying, it right. Uh, move along. Uh, yeah, go on. Actually, well, let me let me let me look. Let me look. Okay, let's. No, we're gonna uh, move along. Let's, so <laughs> let's make this about me, okay? So uh, in line with having our first guest, I got. T. Lee's number one, Fane. We had Fane. We had a really fun time with T. Lee here. He got here a few hours early, and so we had a really fun backstage experience. And now here at SRL, we do it big for our guests. We do the whole smorgasbord of food. We have party dancers. We have party blasters and party (laughs) machines. We have a ton of party machines that we bring in that run 24-7 until the guest gets here and so the room's nice and hot. Uh, I actually brought uh, so so, Sam's, Sam's, uh, when I got here earlier, I got here before y'all and Sam's party blaster got delivered by Amazon. Whoa, awkward. (laughs) Here at Truist Hour. I didn't get it to open it up. Awkward. Anyway, (laughs) we wanted to share, we thought, you know what? It's our first guest. Let's set a precedent. We don't want to have all this fun with our guests and not share it with the, the folks at home. So we took some photos backstage, only three. We, we cho- actually, we took about 300 because we were here for hours partying hardcore. Show him. Oh, sorry. There you so go. So we took three only photos. three. So three. what we're going to do is show you guys just the fun time we had backstage. What do you, what do you say, chat? What do you say? All right, let's... Would that be fun to see kind of behind the scenes here at Skeleton Realm Studios and the truest tower? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's check it out. So there we are enjoying the backstage earlier. It was funny. I remember when we got the party machines turned on and blasting and the room was piping hot. I looked over at Sam and I, then I looked over at Lee and I just, we kind of all had this un, unspoken nod where we were like, this is what life's all about. Having party time with friends before the show. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Th- um, what was your favorite memory from the backstage experience? Uh, probably here? the uh, the fact that y'all gave me a bowl of all green M and M's. Yes. Yeah. Well, you have that to. was you, ha- you have to. You saw my rider. Obviously, I delivered a rider to you. Um, it Bit was, of a diva. Uh, yeah. I mean, so so there's a few things like very basic stuff like um, hummus plate. Monster energy right. drink, just like usual things. But um, there's a classic industry uh, trick where you um, you put the most crazy shit down at the bottom. Curse word detected. 
crazy shit Curse down to the bottom. <laughs> So it so it shows that they actually the uh, the the promoter cared right and 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 read that fluidly and uh, that was the green M M&M. and M and you... I chose that because um have you seen the green M M&M? and M? It's yummy. Oh, it's sexy. Oh, she's, oh, yummy. she's looking yummy. She's looking, looking like a she's snack. Looking good. As they she's say. looking like a snack right there. Uh, <laughs> so when you said you you said I want a dozen green M and M's, you meant like life size dolls of the green M and M from the commercial. I mean, no, I, I, meant, I thought you you just do the the actual the actual candy, but I wanted to be uh, oh, we got reminded. The dolls, baby. I wanted to be reminded. That's right. You wanted to be reminded. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You know, hey, this is an interesting question. Like when you go on tour. I, do you you guys traditionally would have a rider sometimes, right? Because I remember when we used to go. Sometimes we would, sometimes we wouldn't. But you yeah. guys would have one, right? Sometimes. So yeah. What'd um, you put on it? Like, my question is, what are some crazy rider stuff for you guys? Uh, so, I want to talk about this actually, um, but it, uh, let's save it for the guest time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hey. Oh, okay. Because I have a story. Okay. Good. Oh, that's what part of your story is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is actually okay. very. Okay. We'll save to that. It. That's too juicy for right um, now. If it's your name the starts with an A. Call in. Uh oh. There is a, a bit specific. Of a I, I'm detecting a heat seeking yeah. missile situation. Yeah, look, at, look at the. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm singling out somebody right now. Yeah. yeah. And it's one of our favorites, so I can't yeah. wait to see the Clash of the Titans yeah, later tonight. Right. So yeah. that reminds me if you're in the chat and you want to call in later, get in the Discord. There's a link in the description of the YouTube video. Get in the Discord. And hey, while you're in there, just join it. Just join the Discord. That's where you can call us. And at the end of the show, we're going to take callers. You can ask T. Lee whatever you want. And you can ask us whatever you want. And you can say whatever you want. Unscripted live television, live uh, internet style. So everybody get in the Discord. So let's. what's next? This is fun. This is kind of... Also a take request. Oh, yeah. If you guys have any song requests in blue the boys. chat, why don't you let us know? Yeah, we're all out. very blue right now. This is a Blueberry Boy show. What aspect ratio of those boys? I mean, I think we're all looking a little long. Long and long and uh Oh Jake Jake says what? Honestly, the aspect I would, I would ratio? say the Corey aspect ratio is is almost like human. If humans were boxed in, it would be like a human hmm. length. You can't really right? give a, a aspect ratio to a human. A human's thing. tough. Well, no, no, because, I mean, yeah. there's too many dimensions. But if if you were if That's you why had they a call box, it the golden ratio. The gold, is, yeah, right. is is it the golden ratio? The golden. It could be the Corey Tower. Is, is the, it the uh, golden ratio? ratio? Yeah. Is that the Feminazi sequence? The Femina yeah. the Feminazi Fem sequence. Feminazi sequence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Love it is. Um... Uh, but, but that's interesting. But Jake, I guess, who said that? Julia says, "Play blue, ba ba do ba ba da." Oh, yeah. Do you know uh, that one? Yeah, I would yeah, love that. That's perfect for the blue guys. That was show. stuck in Thank my head the other day. He got that. This is a story about the gun, and it came about two blue boys who were hanging out. I'm blue. And I'm a screen. I would die. I'm a blue. I'm a blue. He got patch. it. He's got it. Let's find, it. It. Let's find a better patch for he's, it. He's what? good. What is going on up there? He's yeah. good. I wish. Let's do. Let's your hand. Do I would die if I was green? I would die. I'm a blue. I would die. I was green. I would die. I would die. Uh, uh, it's really funny thinking about when you're in middle school and everyone interpreted interpreted that lyric. What, what? Yeah. What? I don't um, remember interpreting. Dabba dee, dabba die. If I was green, I would die. Right. Um. Some real uh, nihilistic asshole told me that it was. Curse I would bleed. Detected. I will bleed. I will die. What? I'm oh, blue, I see what you're saying. I will die. I will it's bleed, like. Bleed, I will... It's like you hear what you want to hear. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, you know what would be it's fun? A, it's a. It's a perfect pop song for that. It's it is because people hear the melody and the things that are catchy, but they actually the the, the lyrics are an afterthought. Mm -hmm. And if you can make something that's so, uh, like, after the fact and, and you can't encode immediately, you will actually create an assimilation right. of your of your life and something that's meaningful for the lyrics and make it your own song. Yeah, that's, a, that's like, the goal of some of that. That's, like, a, almost like a style of subconscious access that the artist is Right, getting. it's kind of like Lenny Kravitz, you know? It's very much like Lenny. Yeah. Let's hear a Lenny. Yeah, it's like... I wanna fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get away. I wanna fly away. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Hey, uh, you know what I thought? We did blue. Yeah. What if we do yellow by Coldplay? 
You know, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, so we got the yellow curtains. Wait, how does that? That can, would be an honor. Look sing, sing at the... the star. Yeah. It turned my curtains. curtains. It's like a minor or something. Yeah, it's like, uh, uh, it was so all yellow. Look at the yellow, star. Yellow, and... Oh wait, gosh. The stars. Okay. I don't know the lyrics to the song. Time are you? Hey. Yeah. And everything you do. And never saw yellow. Yep. Well, he's good. He's, he's good. He's good. He's fucking good. He's good. He's good. I drove a long fire. I just got to get it again. I just got to get it again. Look how they shine for you. Look how they shine for you. All right, we're getting hey, we're getting sidetracked. Let's move here along. We're just fucked up. Yeah, I know there's, there's bullet points. We have to adhere to them. We're we really the, don't. We really fucked up the show. Oh, no, no. I just mean uh. Get, oh, make the sure. microphones? Oh wait, did I lose mine? Are my mics okay? No, Where's you're mine? no, you got your shirt. Where's your love? You got oh, your yeah, shirt. Where's your love? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Where's your love, lady? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he forgot what kind of mic he's got. <laughs> All right. I didn't mean to do a point. Um, <laughs> in room. <laughs> I like stream viewer says the <laughs> curtains right, were all we yellow. Allowed, let's get it. Julia says simple. the curtains were all yellow. <laughs> Julia, Julia says Yellowman's <laughs> Trench was all yellow. I like those as alternative lyrics. Uh, Yellowman's Trench was the all yellow. The curtains were all yellow. Yellowman's Trench was all yellow. Mm. It's all yellow. Look oh. at the stars. Yellow men's trench. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's 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 take a break from the music for a second, oh, baby God. boy, baby doll. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. And I want to give you something else. I know I gave you a little bit of a gift. Actually, let's um, or never mind. Turn the music down yes. uh, by fifty percent so it can be backing music while this happens because you're gonna oh. want to hear a backing oh, okay. track to this. Yeah. And, Why don't you and, give and, us something kind of sweet? Can I ask and, you? Can I ask you something? Go on, Lee. Would would you just provide? In, in, oh my in, God! We don't like stock music anymore. We want you to. Yeah, I'll be here. Uh, would you? Would you do us? An Look, honor? I'm here on a Wednesday. I'll, if I'm free on a Wednesday, I'll would be you here. Would uh, you just just play back in music in the in the style of our stock? And that means uh, I'm talking hip hop and rock, like all and country and blues and rock and well, roll. So, so yeah, I mean, classical I have a, too. Look, I didn't prepare for this. I don't have beats. I need a mood. I got. I oh, got, that's it. That's what it. you were just mood. doing was the, perfect. Yeah, give me a mood. Give me a mood. Evocative. So, so let's. Oh, let's it's so just good. Something you. Like, here, how about how about this mood for you, Lee? You're about to receive a one in a lifetime gift. I played that. Played that. We love uh, that. So throw that graphic up. This is really fun. Orbsman has given us a special guest orb, and I know it, you guys probably haven't seen one of these in person because these are pricey. Unless you're a big ticket spender. You don't get to see one of these often. And now Orzman has teamed up with Memore TV and giving us one of their premier products and rebranding it as a guest orb. This isn't a regular orb. This is a guest orb. And now if Lee wanted to, he could probably sell this on eBay tonight for $100 million. Probably would go to Sotheby's auction house. Now, the, Lee. The what? best orb that you can have night now, Orzman. I'm going to throw this at you and you Thank need to you. catch this. So keep that camera yeah, trained yeah. on his ass. Right, well, let's, let's keep that know. camera trained on his ass. All right, let's go from here to here. My Ready? Athleticism. One. With a 400 missile two, second fade. Three. Oh my god. First word detected. No! What happened? He dropped the camera. I dropped the camera. Everything's plugged in though, right? Oh wait. Were we even using that okay. one? We're good. I oh yeah, we were. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> Sam. I Oops. Curse word detected. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just turn it, turn it towards us. Do you, see, you remember the yes. shot? Do you do you use your memory? Go to the like go to the like shot. This. Like this, oh, right? I don't reveal too much. <laughs> <laughs> like this, right? No, 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 no. Oh. Here, I'll set it up. I'll set it up. Don't no, worry. Sorry, I know, we got All right. It. We got, we got it. it. We got it. 
Let me get it. You guys I'm just, stuck. I'm just joking. Okay, you get it, Sam. Uh, now, this is live yeah. TV, guys. Look. Sometimes we knock over the equipment. Sometimes we mess that crap up. And that's okay. But we're all breaking the fourth wall right it's now. It's okay. That's fine. Don't worry it's about fine it. It's fine to break the fourth wall. That's not a bad shot. Ooh, you can play. Okay, so one of the cool features of the Oarsman guest orb is that you can freaking play with it on the piano. And that's called, we call that an orb style. That's an orb style. It's kind of like when you play a slide guitar, but it's an orb, it's an orb piano. And his technique right off the bat is incredible. He's already got an incredible technique lined up. Look at that. That is an incredible technique. Oh, we're so close to where we were. Almost, and there it is. Oh, now the center of gravity's messed up. He's only playing the, the black keys. Apparently. All right, almost there. Let's make it taller. All right. Jake Thompson says, this show is off the rails. Yeah, that's how we like it. That's good. Hudson McNeese says he's pissed. <laughs> oh, Sam, I think you should just, very I think you should do different angles of me playing right now. Yeah. I don't have my monitors in, so uh, I hope what you're playing is pretty, pretty good. No, it's, it's oh, have you seen Lake Lake do the, uh, the black key at two uh, yeah. with an orange? It's a good baseline thing. What's Actually, going so on? Sam can't why are, why, what's so Sam can't on? hear what I'm doing right now, but I just want to let him know that it's sick as fuck. Word what the heck? It wasn't. Uh, all right, we'll just do this then. What is going on? I can't quite strike the angle without the. You, the, you had. You were so close before. But then it tips over. The center of gravity's off. Move wait, the. Wait. Move <sighs> it to where the 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 weight is on. Is you you got it like. See what I'm saying? Use an arm. Use an arm for the weight to go on. Yeah. All right, now we're talking. You can change the. There are different uh, heights. The legs are different heights too. Well, I know, but they keep. Good. I'm, I'm having a good time with the orb over here. Oh my gosh! Hey, I'm hey, stressed Doug. out, hey, Doug. man. Hey, Doug. Yeah. I thought that was kind of over relaxing, here. honestly. I'm a bad thrower and I'm a bad catcher. Oh, I got it! Did you get <laughs> any of that? Oh, you didn't get it. it you never didn't get it. Touched that the was ground. a great catch. Amazing. All right. I like how y'all were freaking out about this the entire okay, time. Okay, so the audience loved it. They loved it. They loved hearing me play <laughs> oh, the did orbsman. They now? The orbsman theme. <laughs> Darwin says orb solo. We like orb solos. Actually, uh, these guys are professionals, but they're actually stressing out the entire time. This whole, this whole, <laughs> yeah, this whole stream is a nightmare for them. I can tell as an insider. I don't like doing this. It's for the money that I do this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's for all the pay for the money. It's for all the, uh, it's for <sighs> all the Patreon money. God. You know? Okay, so. It's the big buck. If you haven't subscribed to the Patreon, get on the Patreon and subscribe. That's a great topic to bring up. Get on that Patreon. Subscribe to that Patreon. The lowest tier is $3. If you want to give us more, you can. But you help support the show and you see more episodes. Do you want more? Do you want more? Get on the Patreon. It's 3 bucks a month. You get all sorts of behind-the-scenes content and perks. Do you want to support us? Do you want to support us? So this is kind of a fun thing next. I don't know if we're even going to want to do this one, but I thought this might be cool. After I after I thought of this, I thought this is just he's probably heard this one a thousand times. It's just rude. But throw it up. Uh, this is breathing exercises oh, because Oh the pun is intended. T Lee, T. Lee is in the band Breathers. Oh, I'm in a band called Breathers. So we're, we're moving on. We're moving on. So just ignore that. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it. So let's talk about something well, in town it's that it's also oh, go, go, I'm sorry. No, I'm saying no, it's it's important. I actually do I'm a big oh, fan you of actually, breathing. Okay, well yeah, then yeah. Can you show great. us maybe some 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 breathing exercises. Yeah, what do you do to prepare? I guess it depends on what you're gonna do. This. 
Whoa. You Looks like, like your one? face in that's him. deflated. <laughs> It's like, when you get like a, it's like when you get a G.I. Joe Barbie doll and you just fucking yeah, punch yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, it looked like a basketball. Yeah, wait, let's, see it, let's see it again. Let's see it yeah. again. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have a crazy nostril. Can we get a close-up on him or do we not have that? Uh, oh, wait, oh, well, I can... um, no, it's well, okay. Don't, don't worry. Well, don't worry. Don't move. <laughs> Look, do we, not move. If we do a close-up, it's gonna do, we're going to do the whole bit that we did earlier where yeah. we just lost. Well, actually, we're actually going to do this. No. I'm this. Oh, there you go. Do it. How am I looking? Great. In focus, frankly. Uh, Wonderful. I didn't yeah. see the class with the nostrils. I think it's because your head was tilted angle, just bene right. beneath the angle of the lungs. His angle changed. I would love to get a screenshot. If you're in the chat, maybe screenshot yeah. right in the middle of that we'll and send again. me that we'll on Discord. And, Put that in the Discord. What is it? Uh, uh, screen, uh, cap print capture on your uh, PC. You print know? capture. What, what print it screen. <laughs> print screen. <laughs> print capture. I'm the computer sprint, guy. Sprint, yeah, I'm the computer guy. It's uh, Command sprint, Shift 4 on the Corey, Mac. Corey paid me to uh, be the computer guy, IT guy for yeah. his company. Yeah. Wonderful. Absolutely. What's next? Oh, oh. So this has kind of been on everybody's minds, too. I think uh, the Cory Tower being built in the Edgewood Retail District and then this uh, is really what's the talk of the town now. Oh, we're going to this. Yeah, let's go to this. <laughs> what the oh. they, they were not. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm stupid. It's, it's my fault. No, it's my this fault. This has been on everybody's <laughs> mind. It's my fault. The Cloaca Lounge that we all know and love in Little Five Points, it's been there for decades, it's been there for years, is finally closing its doors. And so we are just, we want to pay homage to the Cloaca Lounge. It's actually where we met T. Lee yeah. back in the day. And if you don't know, if you're not from Atlanta, what the Cloaca Lounge is, is it's a lounge devoted to the love and the craft of enjoying birds. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, the first, dirt, so, so bird shit. Not to, not to, uh, first I mean, it detected. is, Cloaca is great. I mean, mm. it's like, it's, it's, the birds have one hole that they do everything for, th through. Yeah. Right. Like shit, cum, whatever they got. Right. Curse um, word detected. Cum is a cuss word. Um, curse word detected. If I said, I I'm coming, coming curse over right now. Curse word detected. I'm coming over right now. Uh, so, so like you know, the uh, cloaca is like the head and shoulders of of orifices because yeah, it does everything. I, I think I get that. It does everything. It yes, yeah. you know, shampoo, con conditioner. Oh, head and know. shoulders are the brand. Yeah, 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 like yeah. head and shoulders. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah right, it's yeah. like head and shoulders. Um, it's a one stop shop. Yeah. We might but say. I, but I did. It's I did. the head and shoulders of the ass and pussy. I, I, uh, Curse word detected. Oh boy. Uh, I, I played a sh oh, my brand, my band breather. <laughs> the sixth word I've said. <laughs> ass and pussy. Ass ass First and pussy. Okay. Ass uh, and interesting. Pussy. Ass, okay. ass, ass and pussy. But, you know, uh, it, it combined <laughs> organs. What's the wrong with that? No, but but I don't my think first, it is that. But okay, I met it's an egg hole. It is an egg hole. But they urinate and defecate and birth. That's not and what birth, a pussy yeah. does. So. Yeah, it's like, but it's oh, not like pure, no, it's, it's not pure birth. It's not a pure birth. It's an egg birth. A pussy doesn't pee. <laughs> no. Well, but it's a broad Curse term for detected. the entire oh, thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a, a broad, slang yeah. term. Yeah. We're not doing Absolutely. skeleton realm anatomy here, but, they, you know. I can't we, believe this. Be, uh, a bird, a bird, a bird. Get, a bird get on the chat and, and do, a, do, an analysis, of a do an analysis of skeleton realm. And then there's an egg hole. You never uh, heard the term pussy pee. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but hey, let me tell the goddamn story okay. over here. Curse word detected. Go ahead. Sorry. We, like, we love talking. We love interrupting each other on the show. Yeah, that's what we do here on skeleton realm. Uh but um yeah my the first time I met y'all was with my band <laughs> Breathers uh you can follow us at, at Breathers uh dash dash on Instagram yes and um uh yeah we we played our first show and that's how I met y'all when you were playing so Doug you were playing in this band called um uh storage facility yes and then uh. Uh, Sam was in this band called Hungry Man that you were also in. Hungry Man, yeah, Hungry yeah. Man, yeah, and right. Josh Hughes, uh, uh, <laughs> Hungry, Hungry Man, Hungry Man was the uh, the the live version of TV Dinner. Um, Curse word right. detected. Wow, that's weird. That, those are all very TV, accurate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah, so we played but, our fr we. That's where we met, and what I thought was really cool that night is we were go we were having so much fun. That was the first night that they introduced Grace Sludge. Which is a big oh. thing at Cloaca Lounge. It's a yeah, cocktail. Yeah. What yeah. goes into that cocktail? It looks like bird shit. Curse what goes into that detected. cocktail? I think um, it, well, it's like it's 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 bird waste. Uh, it's white white sludge, like bird bird defecation, which is white with Wait. a little black into it. But you mix vodka in it as well, Wait, and a little bit of Bailey's, a little bit of Bailey's in there. They're know. using bird shit in the cocktail. Curse yeah, hundred percent. So, oh, so I, I mean, the top of the the top of Star Bar. I Wait, thought is that <laughs> the top of Cloaca Lounge? 
I didn't know that. No, 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 no. Colloquial Lounge is a separate. Colloquial Lounge happening? is a separate entity. What has happened here? Colloquial Lounge is a separate you are, entity. You guys are, you did a lot of this uh, sauce it, here. Oh, really? It, no, I don't know. I, I just is that public uh, information? Uh, no, it, no, it, no. This is sorry. I, I kind of broke the fourth wall here. That's okay. And and no, this is this is important information. So, Star Bar has been getting a lot of um uh, like drink drink inf- uh assets from cloaca lounge so they have a cloaca lounge has a has a a vat on top of the building where it gets all the bird shit right yeah and it brings it down turns it into bird milk and we create a new drink i like i like calling so it's a it, funnel it's a funnel situation i like calling yeah. it bird milk we like that yeah it's kind of a nicer term for what it is because it is milk and it is meant to be well, consumed I mean, but the thing is it's a cloaca so it doesn't matter what comes out it's no, all the it's same clean. Hole. it's clean it, like the, the uh it's, clean. it's a dutiful hole to where it doesn't matter where it, it's shit, calm milk or whatever. Yeah, it's from the Curse same hole, detected. so it could be anything. Right, and it's it was it, my motto in life is like if it's coming from a cloaca, it's clean. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I, I feel love that, birds. I Some people pet, hate I birds. A, what says bird hate going on? It's 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 garbage. They they yeah. don't carry diseases. No, they're clean. I have a pet rabbit, and, Drink and, the birds and waste. people don't know about my, like pet rabbits and, and the way that they like administer waste. They they create clean waste. It's like cardboard. Yeah. So like Cardboard. I mean I think these these simple sort of like mammalian bird like creatures rodent like bird creatures that are able to ingest things and administer them in a very safe clean way I think I actually I think um, a lot of businesses a lot of big corporations could take um, a lot of information from small pet marsupials or rodents to create um, new products that are, are going to be eco friendly essentially hmm. you know. Well, it's a new perspective. It's a new perspective on life, you could say, I guess. Looking at the bird for sort of uh, um, motivation so look, and inspiration is the word say, I'm let's looking Let's say for. we're bird watching. We're bird watching we're and bird we're watching, watching that hole. Yeah. Yeah. Curse word detected. So this is the part of the show where we'd love to engage with some of the chatters in the Discord. Who's in the Discord? Call in now if you want to call in and talk to Lee T. Lee Gunselman and maybe... You can say hey to him. You can say hey to us. Get in the Discord. Call in. It'll be a whole bunch of fun. I do have some questions that were prepared do birds uh, before the show. Birds, birds, uh, they do Curse queef, but they, detected. but it's the same. It's the same hole. Okay. So somebody, uh, so uh, Elizabeth Salmi said, "Do birds queef?" And it's just, I'll get it's that. just dirty. St- this is just dirty. It's just dirty. Yeah, I'm, 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 no, this is science, though. Yeah. Like, no, yo, I'll get it. Like, yeah, I know, yeah. I know these are sexual, dirty things, but it's What's, like we're, there's nothing sexual we're about a queef. What would be sexual about that? Nothing at all. So you have a sick mind. No, there's nothing. Sick. No, it's not sexual. Like, I mean, if you're queefing, Curse it literally detect- is Curse a contraction detected. of a hole. Right. It's like you only make it so sexual not, because you got a dirty. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah, I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah. Good. Good. Um. <laughs> so what do you guys think about that? Come somebody, into the Discord here. Somebody, uh, somebody did capture the. Uh, I'll go g- capture an image of Lee. If you go into the Discord, you're gonna get some exclusive behind-the-scenes content of Lee doing his nostril trick, and that's yummy. And Ugug is now in the call in. All right. And Ugug, Ugug is Ugug. now ready to unmute himself. Unmute yourself, Ugug, and pause your stream so there's no feedback issues here. Ugug, are you there? Ugug. Mr. Ugg. Ugg. Mr. Mr. Ugg. Mr. Ugg. Ugg. Mr. Ugg. Ugg. Uh, Ugg has been unmuted server side, so all that is required is for he's him gonna, to... He's just going to sit here and breathe. No pun intended. Ugg is just sitting and lying and watching. Yeah. He's in the dark shadows, and he's looking at us like this. He's got his Cory Tower out. He probably just really likes our unmixed, uh, unperfected. Yeah. There he is. All right. Yeah. Let's hear it. Ugg, reveal yourself. Speak, buddy. Hey, Ugg. Ugg. Hey, hey there, Say champ. Say something. Hey there, champ. Speak up. Ugg, 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 come on. Come on, Ugg, Come on. Looks like he got a new computer or something because he's trying to do video, which we will not support on That's the That's really cool. Where's, where's Aaron? We're looking for AJ. Where is, where is AJ? Well, actually, that's kind of uh, negative. To well, you know what? We do have like some. Negative. We do have some questions that I did compile before. All right. The uh, show and one of the first one comes from Born Stableson. He wants to know how did you get the name T. Lee Gunselman? Uh, so um, my my actual real name is uh, uh, Tangus. 
Larry, Larry Larold uh, Grambleson. And that, that sounds, sounds like, like shit. shit. Curse word detected. Sounds like shit. So you went so, in ahead and took the initiative and changed yeah, it. Yeah, I need a stage name. I'm a, I'm a piano player. I need a stage name. Actually, uh, this, that's legally my whole name. Thomas Lee Gunselman is my real name. Dox me right now. Uh, You've been doxed. I've been doxed. I'm doxing myself. Uh, Speaking of strange names, we have X-1. 3D. Wow, we've got somebody we've never seen before. That has never seen the server-side mm -hmm. unmute, and they are themselves unmuted. They are ready to chat. Hello, X13D. Anyone want to chat? Come on. Come on, talk to me. Is this a difficulty on our end, Okay, Sam? I can, no, I can hear, hear that. Hear sounds, that? Sounds like the, uh, poltergeist. poltergeist. And Ogog is back, and it sounds like a poltergeist. <laughs> sounds like poltergeist. Right, sounds, Ogog, Ogog. Ah! sounds scary. Help me. Oh, I'm here. That's just my, uh... And... Maybe that is server side. Wow! Everyone's having technical difficulties, so I do have another question. Go into the light. What is that? Go into the light. Pause your stream, X13D. What are you X13D, doing? X13D, go and walk into the Pause light. Pause the stream. What's go happening in. here? Throw to the light. Throw to what is, the light. What's going on? Now Throw they're talking. I can see them. Why can't we hear it? Just walk into, just walk into the light. Just walk. So, uh, take one, two, three, four from here. So I just wanted to say, y'all, um, my presence here has created a lot of technical difficulties, and um, that's not true. I'll take that's, full that's accountability not for true. this. I'll take full accountability. We for are it. every week pulling our hair out trying to figure out how to do this. That's why we need more money. You need more money, and if if it actually if you donate more money to Skeleton Realm through Patreon, they might be able to hire a uh, technician to work the show. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. And 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 if uh and if you can. Fill an application and become the technician. We'll make sure there's a camera on you for, to get your uh, reactions from wow. everything that's happening here. Yeah. If you send a resume in the Discord, T. Lee will look at each resume. Oh, that's a beautiful song. And he'll red mark or red pen them, red line them. Lizzie Salmi now in the call in. Another one that does it. Hello, Lizzie. Curse word detected. Pause the pause the stream. Pause the stream. Hello. Let's Are you there? It. Hello. Hello. Yes. Fast. Oh we God. got her. I knew it fucking works. Use this. Use that this. Can you hear me? Yay, Lizzie's here. Hey, Lizzie, how you doing? What's your question for T Lee? I know you've got you're burning with questions for him. Mm. I'm burning with questions. Yeah. Oh God, where do I begin? Um. <laughs> we got a long history. Well, I guess I just wanted to know, like, are you, like, seeing anybody? Oh! Are you single? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Um, uh, what's your name again? Uh, you can call me Lila. Lila. I'm seeing somebody named uh, Liz Salami. Oh, she sounds pretty cool. No, she sounds, uh, she sounds great. She's fine. You sound good. Uh, you sound good. Good enough. Doug, this is fun being sort of privy to this little cat, cat and mouse game going on between yeah, yeah, Lizzie yeah, yeah, yeah. and Lee here. No, no, no. This never, is interesting. I think we're subject to a game. Look, of I'm, sex. I'm open. I'm open. Yeah. You're I'm all open. In our we're in a, we're in an open relationship. We're in open me and and yeah, uh, open on Discord. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're open. Like, yeah, Discord only. Okay. So oh. so Elizabeth, do you have um do you, do you have something I can perform for you? Uh yeah, could you do "Oops, I Did It Again" by Britney Spears? Ooh, wow. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, shit. <laughs> oh, I did it, did it again. Oops, I did it again. Oh, you guys practice that. I play with your heart. My Get major part the game. game. Oops, I think, I think I'm, I'm in love. love. But I try and I'm not I'm not that innocent. I think it's really funny that, that she uh, she posted a Rodney Dangerfield quote recently. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brittany? Yeah. You sent wow. me that. She said, uh, well, she said, uh, it's a little She uncooked. said, please take my life. Take my wife. Yeah, please. 
Brittany said, uh, <laughs> Please, I'm Brittany Spears. She said, I went to the doctor the other day and he asked me for a stool sample, a semen sample, and a urine sample. So I took off my underwear and gave him all three. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's my favorite Rodney. I didn't, I, yeah. That's a good Rodney yeah. quote. Is she like a bird? I, huh? What? Huh? What, Lizzie? Is what? she a bird? Is like Brittany a bird? Oh, like a clo cloaca. That would that ah, joke doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually works. Yeah, it was one hole. Yeah. One hole. I took all the samples. You know, we we know what I'd love to hear is I'm like a bird. I want to fly. Oh yeah. I am like Please. a bird. I never fly away. I, I would never love fly. to hear that one. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, that one's tough. Sorry. That was... I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. Yeah, just, I don't know what all that yeah. is. I guess I don't you can know just like in C major, just do any chord. Uh, pick yeah, a song right. right now. Pick what's a famous pop song. Lizzie, we... Wonderful pipes. Yeah. Lizzie, we need another song. What's another one? Um, like a bird. Um, no. Lizzie, sing along. Uh, uh, Lee, what, uh, what's your favorite song? Oh, uh, well, we've already played that. It might be this one. And I can't reach you to pull me hard Like an animal I just I don't know all the words To the time they do some no, no. Pretty soon we'll have to face the facts Some things never come together Parallel lines never do cross It's never even starting over Parallel lines Never do cross over And I give you the gift of empathy If you want In your life acknowledge me I visualize so thoroughly That's a good wow, song. lovely. A I've very got a, love its own. I've got a qu that was beautiful. I have got a question beautiful. from the uh, emails. Yeah. Georg Mandible says, Where was the first gas station you visited ever? Oh, uh probably um called the hot dog zone. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh Tell us so about that. It's, it's from Durham, North Carolina. Yeah. Bull City represent. You know, yeah. I'm from Bull City, North Carolina. Have you ever never heard of it? Look it up on a map. Watch a movie. There's an entire movie of Bull Durham. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was a BP station, and they had a cow on top of it. Wow, it was, it was called it. Hot Dog Zones. Let me hot ask dog, why. Um, because they sold hot dogs. Ah, yeah, they're good <laughs> dogs, man. Guy, you've been to QT before? You've been to QT? I love QT. QT is my QT, favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You get a big soda. The, the XL sodas there hold like yeah, you know a gallon, a gallon. of soda. It's a, it's soda for days. You know what I've been encountering lately though is I go to this one QT up North Druid Hills. Uh, they, I think, are mixing their Diet Coke with regular Coke. I mean, uh, somehow, is as that somebody possible? Who's, well, I mean, I think you would understand because you you drink diet sodas like no sugar. So if you have sugar that are brought into the equation, you I would have a physiological it. response. Oh yeah, it. and I can feel it on yeah. my teeth and on my yeah. tongue. And I think yeah. something's going on with that machine. So that's shots fired there. And I think yeah. the other one too is doing that too. It's like well, maybe my, I'm just paranoid. I got I got big history for QTs, and especially as a touring musician. When you tour up right. 85, 75 North, you, you, you stop for gas at QTs. And right. and you uh, you have a very consistent experience. It's all very great. They say, I'll see you next time. They're the nice. The first time I went, I went to a QT, um, I, 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 I bought a pack of um, uh, Camel Blues. And um, they said, see you next time. And I was like, fuck, am I going to be back here next time? Curse but I realized, word detected. fuck, um, Curse that, word like, detected. see you next time is basically QTs um, of my pleasure. Oh, they have, curse word they have, detected. They have a my pleasure. Curse like they word train detected. All their, my pleasure. Curse pleasure word is detected. Pleasure. All right, I'll pleasure. turn pleasure off. Sorry. That's... Yeah, pleasure is very uh, very naughty. We'll turn the tolerance down. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you go to Chick-fil-A and they say, my pleasure. Yeah. They no, go, no, 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 ew, it is, dude. It is, it is like ew. that. Like they, they, yeah, it's kind of They are gross. pleasured is what you're saying. Yeah, they it are, is yeah. like that. They yeah, are I mean, pleasured sexually. 
Yeah. Curse word yeah, detected. I mean, you know, um, back uh, back when I lived in the suburbs and I would go to a, uh, go to a Chick Fil A and uh, some twink with puka shell necklaces. Curse would, word uh, detected. Uh, would say my pleasure. Yum. And I said yummy. And I said this place is not homophobic. I am. Curse word detected. Signed in. I'm ready to go. Oh boy. Curse word it's, detected. it's a homosexual experience. Curse word detected. Oh boy. Well, that's. You heard it from this horse's mouth, folks. I'm a horse. Curse word detected. So I've got another question here. It's a kind of a, a a cool question that I actually, you know, it's kind of a dumb question to hear people ask musicians this a lot, but I'm interested in your thoughts on your answer. What got you interested in music? That's from Ton Sal. As a uh, kid. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably, probably Doom. Music. Really? Yeah, yeah, the video game Doom. Yeah. So wow, okay, so that makes yeah. sense. You know, synthesizer guy. Yeah, really yeah that's why I play synths. Right. You know, yeah, like video games. So Doom was where it all started. How old were you when you started playing Doom? Well, um, uh, pretty young. So uh, I, I think I mentioned that I was the youngest of uh of three. They were all born in the early early '80s. So I had a I had teenager adults that were uh playing playing music for me at a young age. Nice. And video game music was actually, unabashedly, video game music is, is one of the most important um, uh, influences of music for me because I'd hear that on repeat. It's great. Watching my brothers, like, dominate these games right. and hearing this music and I would, like, I couldn't play but the thing that made me feel great and being excited about it was, like, the music, you know, like... Play a song, yeah. I don't know. I mean... What's... Uh, like, uh... Would yeah. you say that to this day that Doom is some of your is your favorite, or do you have like a favorite video now? Like, what's your favorite? What's the best? What's the uh, Nintendo Dogs? Nintendo. Really? Yeah. Nintendo. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I've always wanted to do have. You, a can pet. you play some Nintendo Dogs? No, I didn't. It's, it's 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 separate in terms of just the fact that I just play that game because oh, it, but you don't. It fulfills it fulfills <laughs> a, a uh, an aspect of my life. Yeah. Which I, I have a need. But I was for asking it. about the music. Yeah. Favorite, what's your favorite, favorite video, video game, game music? music? <laughs> He'll answer with a song, folks. <laughs> that's Gor- Oh, that's Gorbson's level 8! We know that one. Yeah, really? Uh, kind of an easy level, this one. So it- People who play this usually don't get to hear the whole song because they complete the level so quickly doing what they call a speed run, isn't that right? right? It's a long loop. So, I got one more question here and it's from Porson Man. And this goes in line with what we were talking about before, and it's, what are your top favorite gas station chains? We were talking about this before. What's, what would you put at the top of the gas station chains as a touring musician? Uh, Shell. Shell is number one. Shell. Shell is number because one. Because I, I love well, the beach. I love the beach, you know? Okay, yeah. so that's more like an oil company or a gas... I'm talking about, like, you know, say a QT, oh. a Loves, this oh, kind right, of thing. Right, right. But yeah. Shell is a... But Shell is good. I, I mean, mean sometimes, I would tell you QT, yeah. QT is number one. QT is number one. I would say 100%. so, too. Yeah. Uh, next up is, uh, is Sheets. Sheets is good. Yeah, Sheets is good. Yes. It's like... But it's like QT when you enter another territory. Yes. Sheets, uh, not as, like... Sheets feels a little dirtier. It, it and does. Weird. It does. Yeah. But they. But the thing that they, they have, have the one up is is like they have the the uh, the, the screen that you walk up to and you you make a sandwich. You build your own sandwich. Right. That's the problem. You build your own sandwich. QT has very specific items that you order. Right. But you go up there and on a touch screen you're like, I want a bagel with gabagool. And yeah, like yeah. All this shit and like all these underpaid First employees are detected. sitting there just like why, like like I had to sit here and make this idiot's sandwich that's very specific right and it's a reason why there's a like l l less a little less morale going on okay you know? so you that's why it wouldn't be at the qt but so like i would say after that what would you say loves it where's loves on the list loves is loves is uh loves is number two actually i would say okay qt yeah. loves and then loves you're race getting track and then racetrack yeah loves you're getting like a subway sometimes attached to it they team up with a subway or a mcdonald's whereas the sheets mm -hmm. and the qt they've got the qt kitchen they've got the sheets kitchen so um one time well, on tour i uh I, uh I went to a loves yeah when i was on tour i went to a loves at like two o'clock in the morning and uh the band mayhem was there do you understand no you know i don't know band? mayhem so mayhem it is one of the like you know like the black metal bands sure you know they're uh 
you know, like European sort of like really like it's like black metal musicians are basically what um, like boomer parents think that like you should be afraid of, uh, you know, like met like American metal music. Like they actually like probably burn churches and do fucking crazy shit. Yeah, like um, like they they have they have a live album. Like one of the members like uh, basically committed suicide and blew their brains out. And one of the band members found them dead and and made an album cover out of it. And so so we ran into this band on tour. Oh, you ran what? Yeah, Yeah. so you so let me guess. You did a one eighty, a three sixty, and ran away. Talking dark shit. First word detected. And I'm not trying to make it heavy, but we like I was on tour. And we got done playing in Boulder, in, uh, in Colorado, uh, and we were driving in the middle of the night. And actually, on that tour, we saw a lot of the same venues we were playing. And uh, and then uh, we were we went we went to uh, this gas station, this Loves, and they were all there, and they were buying. You know how Loves they have all like the weird medieval sort of stuff, like merchandise. They yeah, were all yeah. buying matching skull walking sticks. <laughs> That's cool. And apparently the uh, the guy that was checking them out was like freaked out. Oh, and so just because they looked freaky. Well, he knew who they were. Oh, I see. Yeah, and he was like, the, "These people are like church burning fucking psychopaths." Curse right. word detected. And uh, but it was funny because actually I didn't realize this till afterwards. So like I was on on the phone with with Lizzie. And I was like talking to her because it was her birthday and I was walking in. There was a subway in there and I like I just got in the subway line. I was talking to her and uh, some of these like Norwegian men were in front of me online or behind me. And I was on the phone. I was like, oh, it's like, oh, it's your turn next. Like, hey, go ahead. And uh, and then I got off the phone and the guy in front of me was like, I will take tuna pizza. (laughs) And I was like, tuna pizza. That's interesting. It's like is tuna pizza is very good. And, wow, and like the owner's Norwegian. like, yeah, some of them got, uh, yeah, no, he said, no, he said, uh, me, no, no, he said, uh, I will get meatball marinara. He's like, honey, we're all out of meatballs. He's like, very good, I'll take tuna then. I was like, tuna sandwich, that sounds whatever. And he's like, yeah, some of them got tuna pizzas. I was like, that's interesting. And then he looked at me and he was like, tuna, that's very good. Um, Sorry, I was waving at the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I was like, is, it, is there a ghost in here? I was just uh, focusing on Doug there. Unfortunately, because uh, I got my little switches, sometimes I stare at Lee, and I'm looking at Lee, and I'm going, number one, and I'm hitting number one. So right. I apologize for that. No, uh, it was Did you cra- see the chat uh, request yeah. here? Yeah. In the Discord, someone named Hudson. Do you know a Hudson? Of course. Did, uh, oh, did you see what Discord. Hudson asked? Had, uh, Hudson asked a food-related Oh, that's cool. Question. So it says, yo, T. What's your go-to order at Waffle House? Um, I'm I'm getting uh, just just hash browns. Yeah, that's it. Defecated, yeah. massacred, and destroyed. Yeah, those are my the, my three adjectives. Yeah, and that's ketchup, mustard, mustard and honey. Yes, and honey. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you know that. Like it's kind yeah. of an off-menu item. Yeah, we used to joke that they should put fucked on there. Yeah, yeah. and it just it's just they just oh, fuck yeah, I mean, it up. Sometimes they get fucked. They just like, fuck it up. They just they just yeah. throw all the garbage <laughs> yeah. in it. And stuff. I mean, that's good. It's actually better that way because if they toss it up, it's like it's like when you get the when you get the hash browns, you want to fuck it up already. You yeah, wanna, you want to toss all the because t- yeah. they just throw the toppings on top of it. Yeah, you want to fuck it up. Yeah, you have you have to you detected. have to do you have to do like an uh, an activity to like stir them up and right. fuck them up. Curse right. But if, if you ask ask the waitress, they'll do it for you. And right. then you could just go straight in and start eating. Right. You know? I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to eat as quick as possible. I like getting them extra crispy. Yeah. I get them so crispy. Well, you know what? We've re- <laughs> I think that that's it almost for the show. It's been about an hour 24. We've had an incredible night here with T. Lee Gunselman, the first guest, the first of many. And so we just want to say thank you for joining us tonight. Take a look at up. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we're what? doing a little bit of spying on you on your phone. What's there, right? there? We love I mean, it. There's like a spy documentary that. Um, spy you know, dot what? Or like a like a true crime documentary that you've been working on, right? A true crime documentary. Um, Did I miss? Some? Oh God, I missed you. Know, I knew the guys, so I was just about to sign off the show here, and the guys were looking at me. They were giving me big eyes, saying. We're not done, Doug. Why are you signing off and not say anything? Just being silent. All you got to do is say, hey, we have another segment. But they're just looking at me like I'm insane. Guys, we have one more segment here, and it's a bit on everybody's mind. I don't know how I could have forgotten it. Memore TV's new drama spy style drama. 
Jeez. Splice is coming out. Season three is premiering on October 17th at 8 p.m. Only on Memore TV. We wanted to save this for last because we knew everybody always sticks around toward the end. And at the end, we have the most viewers, which we do right now. We have 20,000 viewers. And so we want to tell everybody, tune in to season three premiere, 10, 17 at 8 p.m. And Lee has learned the Splice theme music for us. And he's going to play us out the, excuse me, I keep saying splice. I keep saying You've been doing a lot of editing. I think that's all that editing you've been doing. Ah! Excuse me, flice. God damn it. Curse, Curse word, word detected. detected. Lee has learned the flice theme song and he's gonna play us out while we roll the credits. Flice. And he's gonna sing the song while we roll the credits. We're doing a new thing now, it's credits. We're thanking all the Patreon members. If you haven't gotten on the Patreon yet and subscribed, Get on the Patreon now. It's three dollars. Let's hear a little bit of that flice. Let's watch him play. Sing the flice song. We gotta, gotta be serious. You gotta be serious. You gotta be serious. Flice. Thank you guys for joining us for episode 21 of Skeleton and Rum Live. Serious. We're going to be coming back at you live nice. next week, episode 22. Nice. And we just want to roll the credits there. Thank you to all the Patreon subscribers. We appreciate you all. Go to Patreon and sign up. Get in the Discord and join the fun. Even when the show's over, we can still have fun and chat all through the week.